Merch is available right now. Use code David for 20% off. Link in the description. The Oculus Quest game library is continuously growing and with the recent release of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners and Population One, it's showing just how big games can be on the standalone virtual reality headset. AAA games are making their way to the Oculus Quest and it's gonna be big. These are coming sooner than we may possibly think. And here's a list of all the rumored and confirmed AAA games making their way to the Quest and Quest 2 extremely soon. Hey everybody, my name's David. If you're new here, I cover all things Oculus Quest. If you wanna stay up to date on the latest Oculus Quest videos, news, giveaways, and so much more, oh, do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It really does help me out. It means a lot, and I wanna thank everyone for their continued support on the YouTube channel. To kick things off, it has been confirmed that we are getting an Oculus port for Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell in virtual reality. These two games are probably gonna be huge huge and definitely over 4 gigabytes in size. Ubisoft is currently working on both of these titles and it's looking like they're going to come out mid next year. These are two extremely exciting games and ones I cannot wait to play in virtual reality. There was recently a leak that could obviously be fake, but let's just take it with a grain of salt, and that is that Resident Evil 4 is making its way to the Oculus Quest. Now, personally, I can't play horror games, I'm no good at it and I'm just a huge chicken, but for anyone who's into the Resident Evil series, this is going to be so cool to get a Resident Evil 4 game on the Oculus Quest. It's going to be absolutely gigantic with a story that is around 16 hours in length, so it would be an absolutely huge game to make its way to the Quest. A game that's coming extremely soon that has actually been confirmed by Oculus that they are looking into developing a Quest version of this game, that is Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. Medal of Honor for Virtual Reality is coming out at the start of December, so extremely soon and just in time for Christmas. This is only going to be available on PC VR at the beginning, but they have confirmed that they are going to be attempting to make a Quest version of this game, which would be absolutely phenomenal. This is a game that I've had on my watch list for a little while now, and one that I've been really interested to check out. It looks like it's gonna be so much fun with a campaign and multiplayer game modes. Thankfully, we'll get to see what this game is like extremely soon once it launches on the Oculus Store on PC VR. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I put a lot of work into my videos and it's always really nice to know when people are enjoying them. Next up is a game that I think a lot of people are actually overlooking and that is Sniper Elite VR. This is making its way to the Oculus Quest extremely soon as well, probably at the start of next year. This is going to be a really cool game, another AAA title that we'll be able to play. They've even released a trailer for this game which does definitely hint at it coming much sooner rather than later. Maybe we'll be lucky and even see it released least around Christmas time. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope for that one. I also have two other games that I'd love to mention that aren't really AAA, but they look like big promising games and two games that I'd absolutely love to cover later on on the channel. These games are the Boneworks spin-off for Oculus Quest, which was probably confirmed over a year ago now. And hopefully, maybe we'll see it come out around Christmas time. Fingers crossed again. And also the lo-fi spin-off agency, which looks like it has been approved for development for the Oculus Quest. So this is probably something that we'll see mid next year. I thought I'd mention these because I thought people would be interested and ones that I don't see a lot of people talking about. Of course, we could still see an explosion of announcements of AAA games making their way to the Oculus Quest next year. This was just a list of the likely and confirmed, with most of the games on this list actually being confirmed for Oculus Quest. If you want to see me cover any of these games in more depth and try find out all the juicy information that I can to possibly see on the internet so I can share it with you guys in one nice and sweet wrapped up video, do let me know in the comments section down below. And also, let me know what AAA game you're most excited for making its way to the Oculus Quest. I've put up a poll on the community tab on the YouTube channel, so go vote there and you can see what everyone else is voting for too. Of course, if you enjoyed, do give this video a like and subscribe, and if you want to enter a VR cover giveaway, do click on the card above right now and you can go check out that video and see how you can enter. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters and especially my VIPs. It really does mean a lot that you've been supporting 
for so long. And of course, one of the huge perks of being a VIP Patreon is that you get free limited edition merchandise. I will be sending out the merchandise to you guys extremely soon, so do keep an eye on your post boxes as they'll be arriving at the start of next month. As always, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of today's video. If you're interested in seeing more, click that button right there and click that button down there to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm gonna jump back into VR.